Hello, 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 George Furlong here once again, and we continue with part three of this beginner series. We learned one new pattern with a new element, forward ochos or front ochos, you're gonna hear me say a lot as well. I think this one's a little bit easier than the first two, mainly because there is less material. When we taught this in our group class, half of the time we spent reviewing that eight step basic with the left foot and the back ochos. Again, specifically the traveling back ochos. If you need to go back and watch part one and two, although I think review of part two would be better for this particular video. So let's get started. With the forward ochos, we have to focus on three parts, very similar to the back ochos of part two. One, where do we get into the forward ochos? Two, how to lead the forward ochos, and three, where to get out of them. So let's start with the first one. Where do we start them? So we do a left foot basic, one, two, and three of the basic. Leaders, remember we do a secret weight chain. One, two, and three of the basic, back ocho, three of the basic, back ocho. When you do the back ocho on the close side of the embrace, stop and bring the follower back into a forward ocho. The movement feels like a rock step. Now, one quick hint during this transition from back into a front, and this goes for both the leader and the follower. Make sure to collect the feet, back, collect, front. The tendency is to keep the feet open and not collect. And that usually throws out the timing between the couple. So please collect. Anytime you ask us, should we collect? Yes, collect. Now, you may have noticed in this video, Hadelby does a cross in the front. I'll come back to this in a bit. It doesn't matter how many back coaches you do. In this example, I did two. One, two. For this particular pattern, you have to remember it happens on the close side of the embrace. So don't get stuck on the number of ochos. You have to say to yourself, I have to stop on the close side, which for the leaders, it's the right side. Hopefully you saw part two, so this should look familiar. One, two, and three of the basic, pivot, back ocho, back to neutral. Three of the basic, pivot, Back ocho, neutral. Three of the basic, pivot. Back ocho, neutral. Three of the basic, no rotation. Four, five, six, seven, eight. When we lead the back ocho into the front ocho, the key is to not let her go back to neutral. Leaders, you hold that back ocho position and take a side step with the left leg. Again, it doesn't matter how many back ochos. Leaders, you just have to for a better lack of term, locker in that back ocho position by keeping that elbow down to keep her from returning to neutral. If your elbow does not stay down and the embrace goes back to normal, the follower will probably go to neutral. This locked position, and again, locked position, is the reason Hadelby did this cross that I mentioned earlier. Basically, this cross is a collect. It's just instead of collecting on this side, she collects on the other side, creating a cross. Essentially followers, you're decorating the collect. Leaders, this does not affect you. Well, you may feel it, but it shouldn't affect you. It doesn't matter to you where the collection is as long as there is a collection of the feet. Followers, this is why it's important not to go too fast and really wait for the lead for the pivot in the back ochos. So when the leader wants to stop you, you feel it. Usually one of the biggest comments Hadelby and I get from followers is, I don't feel the lead for the pivot. Sometimes it's the opposite. I get too much of a lead of a pivot. But like I said, usually they say, I don't feel the lead for the pivot, so they do it. Well, at the beginning, leaders need a little bit of time to figure out how to lead the pivot. So most of the time, you'll have to be patient, wait, and do what is sometimes the hardest thing to do, nothing. All 
this talk about the pivot and the waiting, I've been referring to the back coaches. But again, that was also from last week or the last part. But this applies to the forward ochos as well, which brings us to the second part. How do we lead the forward ochos? So we got into that first forward ocho by stopping the back ocho. Now we have to continue the pivots for the forward ochos. Like I mentioned in part two video about the back ochos, we could do a whole video just about the front one themselves. But for the moment, we're gonna keep it simple. The forward ocho is a pivot with a step. Pivot with a step. Pivot, step. Pivot, step. And that continues until we decide to stop. It can be two or 102. So after we do the first ocho, leaders rotate the shoulders and the followers pivot. And then of course we step together. Leader rotates the shoulders, ladies respond with a pivot, and then we step together. Now leaders usually have a hard time trying to figure out which direction to rotate the shoulders. As I said before, to keep it simple, leaders, think that you want the followers chest in the direction of the forward ocho. So if I want a forward slash front ocho toward the camera, I want her front to face the same direction and vice versa. If I want that front ocho toward the fireplace, I want her front to face the same direction. So we've one, got into the forward ochos. Two, we executed the front ochos. And finally, the third part, where do we exit them? We exit on that open side of the embrace. When we're on the open side, we stop at neutral and exit with that tango close, that six, seven, eight. And yes, leaders, you do have a secret way change to do step number six. The key here is when you get to the open side, leaders, do not rotate your shoulders to lead another pivot. Your embrace slash shoulders return to neutral. It's like you're putting the brakes on. <laughs> Followers, that's what you're looking for so you know when we're done with the front ochos. There's no more rotation of the embrace and boom, you're done, neutral. In this pattern, we did three front ochos. One, two, three. But don't forget, it does not matter how many ochos, as long as we stop on the open side of the embrace. Hope this helps with the forward ochos. That takes care of part three, and we have one more video.